it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. It's an exciting day today because I'm going to show you how to make refrigerator slash freezer jam. Now, this is an, an older recipe. It goes back to the 70s. I have made it, uh, but I've, it was many years ago. So we're going to revisit that recipe and it's a good way to use um, that little bit of fruit or when you get a good bargain on fruit, fresh fruit, but you don't have a lot of it. And you can still enjoy some delicious homemade jam. Okay? All right. So come join me because, you know, it's going to be fun and you don't want to miss it. <laughs> All right. So come on, let's go. We're gonna make some jam. Not get in a jam, we're gonna make some jam. For joining me today you guys are awesome <clears throat> you really are okay today we are going to make a quick um, rhubarb strawberry jam now the reason I'm using rhubarb is because my neighbor was kind enough to let me pick her rhubarb as you can probably see from the picture in the intro I am surrounded by rhubarb leaves. <clears throat> so, um, this was free. All I had to do was pick it. So what I have done, I have cut, uh, cleaned, and taken the big leaves off the rhubarb, and I have cleaned the rhubarb, and I chopped it into uh, small pieces. Now then, this recipe, just to tell you ahead of time, this recipe calls for two to three cups of mashed fruit. Um, the original recipe was strawberries, but you can incorporate other fruit if you would if you would rather do that. So it calls for two to three cups of mashed strawberries. I am using rhubarb and three cups of sugar. I measured this rhubarb out. It's approximately four cups. I did do the three cups and I thought, well, well, okay, what's one more cup? And as it cooks down, it's going to reduce a little bit as well. It's going to become more liquid. And the beauty of this recipe is it calls for one three-ounce package of strawberry gelatin. And I've got this box um, from Aldi for 37 cents. So I'm going to use that. I've already chopped the rhubarb. I have incorporated the three cups of sugar in there. I've let it set for an hour or so. I'm going to put it in the pan and we are going to get cooking <clears throat> while following the instructions. Alright, now I put the fruit, the rhubarb, with the sugar in the pan. Now you notice that that's looking syrupy. I haven't even turned the pan on yet. This is what happens when you macerate fruit. In other words, you put sugar on the fruit, you let the fruit stand in the sugar, and it begins to macerate, which actually, I think the root meaning of macerate is to chew, macerate, masticate, um, is to chew. So it begins to break down the fruit. So I'm going to turn the burner on here, and we are going to cook this according to the instructions. So this is going to come to a boil, and real quick, I just want to explain to you how this is going to work. Uh, I'm supposed to bring it to a hard boil, then reduce the heat to medium, boil it for 10 minutes, and then add the box of strawberry gelatin, or as you might know as Jello, um, and then. Um, Mix until well dissolved and bring to a boiling point again, and then I'm going to remove it from the heat and uh, let it set a few minutes, stir again, and put it in the jars. Okay? Now remember, this is not a preserves, it's not preserves, 
It's not a preserved jam. This is a refrigerator, freezer, jam. It's a quick jam. It's easy to make. Now, because of the firmness of the um, rhubarb, this is going to take a little bit longer, I'm sure, to get softened, but we're going to get there. Soft, no longer than the, what the 10 or so minutes it says. So we're going to get it there. This is boiling very nicely, but I'm going, I've got my timer set for 10 minutes for the boil, but I'm going to smash the fruit as it softens with my potato masher. Every couple of minutes or so, so that um, it becomes more soft and more um, um, jam like. While this is cooking, I want to show you a couple of things. This is the recipe is supposed to make four cups. I'm using, I'm going to fill these uh, half pint jars. These equal one cup. So I should get four jars of uh, jam. I did bring out five jars just in case because there might be a little bit more. You never know. Also, uh, you can use lids that you have used previously. They don't have to be new lids. Um, so I'm going to use these. In actuality, if you wanted to, you could use a plastic lid for this if you like. I like to use these, even though they've been pre-used, because once the hot jam goes in the jar, the, um, this will seal up and uh, it preserves it longer because I'm going to keep it in the refrigerator. Now it's not preserved in the sense that you have um, made preserves or you can leave it, it's not shelf stable, let's put it like that. So <clears throat> I've got my jars and all you have to do is just make sure everything is clean. Uh, it's not a big deal. I have my little canning funnel here which you can use or not use and I've got my um, little dipper dipper there. Um, so we're going to, uh, that's really basically all you need. I will put the recipe in the description box so you will have that and uh, you don't have to be concerned about that at all. Okie doke, you can see now how soft the rhubarb is. See how soft that is? And I have uh, used the potato measure on it or three times. Uh, some of this fruit is softer to begin with so you don't have to do that but I just want to give it a chance to get nice and soft. So there we go. Alright now then. The instructions tell me that I am to turn off the heat under the fruit mixture and I am to Pour in one package of the Jello and mix it all together. Now, if you want your jam to be more red, then by all means put a drop or two of food coloring in there. You can do that if you want to. I um, did a test batch and I did put in a drop of or two of food coloring but I will show you that. I'll show you what the difference is. But we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to leave it like that. Now it says make sure it's all stirred up, turn the heat back on, you're supposed to bring it back up to a boil for just a minute or two. And then we're going to pour it in the jars. Now, the gelatin, the jello slash gelatin, is what makes the, the um, refrigerator jam set up. So that's what we want. 
All right. Well, that's pretty good. Now, I'm going to bring you over here. And I'm going to use my little funnel here. Try to get it as close as I can. You know, sometimes cooking is just messy. That's just how life is. <laughs> so, I'm going to pour this in there. Just up to the top little rung there. You can see. See how that is? See that? Okay. Pop a lid on there. I'll do the next one. When you do your scoop, make sure that you try to get, you know, fruit and syrup because now it's a syrup. Alrighty. Put another lid on there. This is pretty easy so far, isn't it? And actually, if you can get your fruit um, free like this or in an economical way or maybe you can forage for some fruit. That's nice as well. So here we go. This smells very much like strawberry. So there's three jars. At four cups we should at least get four jars, but remember I said that I did add more fruit. Now the characteristic of jam is that jam has pieces of fruit in it. Um, unlike jelly, which does not. Jelly is from the Jews. Jam is from the fruit itself, the fruit, chunks of fruit. Now, you can see I've got about this much left. I'm going to pour it in this jar. We'll see what we get. I, it's not going to be a whole cup, but that's okay. It will still work. Work just fine. Put these in here. Get this moved. I'm going to put this lid on there. So we got about four and a half cups of jam. Quick jam. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was very quick. All right, now then, now what are we going to do? We're going to let this set just for a minute or two. For Well, actually longer than that because I don't like to put, I don't like to put the, um, I don't like to put the hot product right in the refrigerator. But this ultimately goes in the refrigerator. And it, it, the heat will, you know, seal these jars. You can keep it in the refrigerator for a long time. I will put the recipe down as strictly as it is as a quick strawberry jam. I'll put that in the description box below. Uh, along with some of these um, alternatives. You can put, uh, you can do whatever you like. Okay? Do whatever you like. Make whatever you like. And you know what? If this is kind of inexpensive. You can actually um, experiment. Now then, one suggestion. If you are, if you're going to put this in the freezer, please make sure that you have freezer safe containers. Not all glass jars are for the freezer. Um, so you can actually put it in other containers, certainly. Um, if it's a plastic or whatever, make sure that it's heat safe because you don't want to melt your plastic. This is some rhubarb strawberry jam that I made <clears throat> the other day because I wanted to do a run through on this. So I want to show you what it looks like. It is very, um, it's jam. It's just a refrigerator jam. And I have to tell you this is tasty. 
Now, can you see a little bit of difference in the color? Because I put a little red food dye in this and I did not put it in that. But that is entirely up to you. Some people are fine with it, some people are not. So there it is, rhubarb strawberry jam. That is the product that you should get. And as you can see, I've been eating this because it's delicious. <laughs> It's great on a peanut butter sandwich. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. You know I do. And you know beyond a shadow of a doubt, if I can do this, you can do this. This is so easy and so delicious. If you've got a little bit of fruit, you get a good bargain on fruit, uh, make some for yourself. Okay, because I think you're going to really love it. And your family's going to really like it. And you can give a jar away and make somebody very happy. All right. I love you. You know I do. And as always, little is much when God is in it. Okay? All right. I will talk to you later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for showing up. I really, really appreciate it. All right. I love you guys. Bye-bye.